And there it is at the open. Our wow. all-time high for the S&P 500. Uh, bouncing off of that uh, level we last saw July 26th. Jim? It is incredible because I've got to tell you, if you told me three weeks ago, three weeks ago there were people who say, listen, when we get into earnings season, and it was right before the banks, we're going to be sorely disappointed. What's going to happen is the banks are going to lead us down because of the yield curve. The industrials are going to lead us down because of China. We're going to have health care go down because of Elizabeth Warren. We're going to have technology go down because it's been moved too high. Every one of those theses has been either rebutted or, frankly, to the point where it's standing on its head. Uh, when you go over some of these, Caterpillar being a classic example. I went over Caterpillar line by line. I kept saying, all right, this is a quarter where everything that they wanted was not good, and yet they are going to, they're talking about being a dividend aristocrat, buying back a lot of stock, being lean. It is incredible. Illinois Tool Works, look at this stock. It's an incredibly important stock in the firmament because it's in every single, got its fingers in every, every part, every industrial pie, talking about raw costs coming down. Talking about maybe Europe not being that bad. Uh, and then you start getting retailers that we've had, Walgreen first. Walgreen, well, we're used to having them get clocked by Amazon. Well, their numbers were fine. So I, I am seeing so much good. And I'm also, I keep reminding myself that there were these big strategists who were saying, sorry, it's not going to happen this year. What if it's so good the Fed says, uh, we're done? Uh, I, I was pondering that this weekend. I said, if it's that good, then I don't care. I do know that the autos, though, need it. Uh, if you ask me what the weakest part of this economy is, it's Ford. Well, you just got done saying manufacturing can be ignored. The whole the, journal piece this there morning are auto about the, the economy can survive a manufacturing recession. We need the dollar lower. The economy can survive that. Dollar lower and the autos are critical for the next leg of the economy because they are just completely shut out. But again, I, I will say that we don't need it as much as I thought. Uh, by the way, deer, people keep seeing go up. Deer's a, a, a kind of a conundrum. People are saying, Jim, it, we're doing so badly versus the Chinese. What happened is a double, double whammy positive for deer. They, the Chinese went and bought the soybeans in Brazil. Brazil sales for deer are extraordinary. And then our farmers got a big check, second big check. Sales here are okay. So you start getting, and I, I you rebut the presumption of every bear here. It makes it difficult to just stay negative. Difficult. Yeah. I mean, we have had 41 central banks cut rates this year right. for a combined 2,000 basis points. Jeez. Right? Wow. And the market's essentially where it was a little bit higher now than it was 18 months ago. Well, I, I know that there are big cap stocks that we look at that haven't done anything. Uh, Facebook, Facebook hasn't done anything. We have Google, by the way, Alphabet tonight. Uh, it, it does seem that the market, Apple and Microsoft, have been extraordinary. All right. Uh, but then again, we've got a stock like Boeing trying to find its footing. Uh, I interviewed Doug Parker on, on Friday, American Air. You know what was astonishing? $400 million loss. Who's going to pay that? He says Boeing shareholders should pay that, not his shareholders. Did Gary Kelly not imply the same thing? And yet nobody's worried about the dividend, which is pretty interesting.